Okay, coming up next is a nine millimeter that came out to the correct dimensions. I got it rigged up with that little aluminum plate on the top. I'm hoping that that will be the answer to those uh, horizontal striations, that erosion that takes place, that's taken place with my other molds. Uh, we'll see if that actually does anything or just something that's not really necessary. It might just plug up the hole and not do a darn thing. Come on, there. Man, these gloves are driving me nuts. Yeah, I think all I did is plug up the hole. Well, it seems to have filled in. Yeah. That that's actually a damn good bullet. I'll see I'll see what it looks like when I put the, the calipers on it. I want to show you something. That's my water bucket right there. I'm putting the uh, the first ones, the oblong bullets here and here. This this third one with the good nine millimeter bullet mold is right here. Now I'm gonna quit talking and I'm just gonna keep casting. Because every time I stop to say something, it gives my mold a chance to cool down. If you hear me mumbling, that's just me mumbling. Don't, don't worry about it. Trying to line those my hash marks so that my screw hole aligns perfectly with the, uh, the center of the cavity. God damn it. Oh man, most of that went on the ground. So uh, this is gonna, this hole is going to be screwed. Yep. Already got any any lead in it. What did come out came out pretty decent though. Damn it. I royally screwed this one up. I can't even put my cross pins in there now because I poured, <laughs> poured freaking lead in, in there. And it, if I try to take it out, I'm afraid I'm going to snap that sucker. Yeah, that's not coming out. I'll have to deal with it later. I'll work with what I got. See that gap on the top? I don't know what the fuck is causing that. I do know that that's a decent bullet right there. I mean, the base is messed up because I got I got my uh, sprue hole kind of off center, but it's a good start. Just checking to see what. Oh, I see what's going on. So, the reason for that that gap is my pliers are not centered on the cavity. They're centered at the you know they're set at the bottom of the of the mold. So when I crimp down, it crimps down the bottom, but the top half of the mold remains uh. 
I mean, it it makes it go out of alignment. Shit. I wonder if this will do. I'll try this. It seems to be holding them flat. And it worked just as well. Sometimes the improvements that you try to make turn out actually be a detriment. This may be the case with this also. I want to show you something. When I don't align the lid properly, that little screw hole is supposed to be dead center on that cavity. I had it in the wrong orientation, so that it's, it's off to this side. The bullet itself, the body, came out excellent, though. Man, I can't wait to put the calipers on it just to see what kind of dimensions I'm getting. I'm going to cast a few more with this one here, the 9mm, with the with the uh, proper dimensions as they come out of the printer. You know, one of the things that I haven't been able to exactly figure out is uh, not only does the, the print shrink somewhat, but uh, also the uh, when the lead is cooling in the cavities, that also shrinks to a certain degree. And I have not been able to uh, figure out the the percentage of shrinkage that it's getting. So it makes it difficult to uh, for me to calculate for that in, in my uh, dimensional corrections. Dang these gloves. Fuck. I'm looking at it and I'm, the bullet itself came out good. I mean, it's good fill out, good. You can see the seam line there. That's not a bad thing. I mean, it's, I've had worse, but I keep aligning my sprue hole in the wrong orientation and it's, it's given it, uh, that's bullet number four. I got no, no erosion on either side yet. I'll see what happens. I'll keep going with this one. Tapering that hollow pointing pin sure helped out a lot. I mean, they come right out. I don't have to. I don't have to dick around with them. I don't have to cuss or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that's a good bullet right there, provided the dimensions are correct. Uh, so far, I see no erosion or striations on this particular mold. I don't know why why that would be when the other ones were definitely having that effect. I'll keep going with this 9 millimeter until I start seeing those striations. Right now I'm at number 5, this will be number 6. I, I'll i be turning my camera off periodically just so it, I preserve some memory. Last time I was doing this, uh, my camera started beeping and it was because I was running out of memory. So uh, if I cut in and out, that's the explanation for it.
man, these gloves make it impossible to work proficiently. So that was actually a good base. That's another good bullet. Damn. I'll try to do 10 of them, 10 of them in a row. And then we'll take a look at how, how the mold has been affected by it, 10 in a row. It's, it seems it's starting out with the, with the molds preheated. Sure enhances the possibility of getting good bullets right off the bat, or better bullets, I should say. I'm starting to get the lid all chipped up now from letting it sit in there so long. The good thing is I got a crap load of old lids that'll work just, just as well on this one. Oh, damn it. Trying to be a little bit too fast. Oh, I got most of it off. Well, other than that, that screwed up bottom that I just managed, the rest of the bullet is in excellent shape. I'll show a close-up of it when I get that far along. My camera phone's starting to beep, so I'm running out of memory. I'm going to have to switch up. Okay, I kept on going, and I, I decided to keep going. And the last three uh, casts, I used that little... Uh, this thingy here, hoping that it would mitigate some of the erosion, and uh, actually, it, it I don't know, I can't say definitely that it has, but I, off camera, I kept print, or kept casting, and uh, the most damage that I could detect was like this, but I'm looking real closely at it with my magnifying glass, and it, what it is is the layer lines from the printing process, and not the actual striations from damage. Uh, the other nine millimeters, those were those were real damage because I could tell it was starting to flake at the very surface. Anyways, I got like 15 bullets out of this one, and it appears that I can keep going for a little while longer uh, if I'm careful. And by putting this plate on here, I think that plate tends to catch some of the initial heat. And by the time it reaches down into the cavity, it may have cooled off just enough to make it tolerable for the inside surfaces. But man, that's another good bullet right there. Now, I haven't measured them, so uh, stay tuned. I'll be starting on the 45s next.